Well, the Parnelli Jones collection has just kicked off with the sale of Big Ole. And there are a number of other cars. In fact, seven others for a total of eight from his own personal collection. Not a lot of people know that Parnelli was an owner of a Formula One car. And here it is, 1974. And we're at $300,000 on this car driven by Mario Andretti. Yep, this absolutely <laughs> took on the world and was a surprisingly competitive car. Part of the sponsorship dollars came from Firestone. And about halfway through 1974, Firestone pulled out of racing, leaving this race team a little bit short on the dollars. They got a hold of Goodyear. Goodyear supplied the tires at that time. They had to make a lot of modifications to this particular car, but it really marked the end of the road for the Formula One racing effort by Parnelli Jones. Yeah, almost made a podium at the Spanish Grand Prix, finishing fifth. That in and of itself, a very impressive accomplishment in Formula One when you are going up against the best manufacturers in the world that have unlimited budgets. Scott, take a close look at those tires as I did a few minutes ago. There are marbles in them, which you only pick up on pit road. Those have seen some action. Yeah, true. Good call. The Part reserve is off at 460. Part Alan Jones, being a big Ford guy, used that Ford Cosworth 3 liter V8, putting out about 480 horsepower. And another icon from Parnelli Jones changes hands. This one for $460,000. Wow.